Okay. Well, do here we, we are. Should we not? Should we not stream? <laughs> one more time. Let's give it one more try. And if not, then the rule of threes has occurred, and we're in a fairy tale. And we, the, anything that happens, will be our own fault. It's true. Okay. Well, I hope you're watching this in the future, and this makes sense. All right. <laughs> well, we're just gonna delete this file. Great. Three, two. We learned four. a lot. We learned about uh, stacking buffs or powers, and it'll be great. <laughs> yeah, we finally got all of our buffs together. Well, now the internet's working better. All right, okay. all right, all right. All right. All right, I'll take it. Okay. I just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so ner I'm so nervous now. Yeah. Because literally, this is a... All right, we know the copy of it. We know the copy of it. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Eric, you Shit, did it again. I did the thing again. Oh, well, man. now we have to look at the hellscape with Kermit. You Much said like us. It. Much like us. I feel like we are just stuck in yeah. this room at the moment. I also feel that. And then, I mean, this really does look like the wallpaper equivalent of a 404 screen, wouldn't you agree? It really does. Hey, if you missed this before yet, yeah, uh, Twitch Studio just crashed for no reason to kick this out. So, now, it's working again, hopefully. Yeah. If anything sounds weird, if the if it's buffering, or if the audio seems weirdly mixed between this and the game music, please let us know. That's true, please tell us. Um, we had like 10 viewers at one point, and I'm like, oh, it's yeah. all going. And now, <laughs> look, if you hit two enemies without special powers, they combine. Oh, Ooh. I still love that graphic design. Power combo. Okay. View no, I don't <laughs> want to view the instructions <laughs> please again. Please, no. Please, never again. Okay, so now this is the shard. Pop star. We're starting again. Aw. Looks like using crayon on, like, watercolor paper. I remember this. All right. Back here. Ooh. I remember this. <laughs> I do remember this. I don't like that the, uh, the checkerboard motif continues because it's haunting me. Hey, but are, are we still stuck inside the machine? Who, who knows? Maybe Kirby is the matrix. No, sir, I need to I need to show the stream. I like I was worried for saying fire couldn't kill fire, but it's not. <laughs> no, like, like a Pokemon. Here's the thing, Kirby can kill everyone and everything. That's why Kirby's the best one to play in in Pokemon. Also, he's canonically Oh, <laughs> he's also canonically the strongest. In like the in the in the um like the campaign for for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. He's like the only one who who survives um the massive destruction by a god. So, well, think about that. Check that. Oh, fire sword. That's <laughs> much better than uh Venus Flytrap. That was oh, not so Gito? fun. Yeah. Gito Kirby? Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, now I get to fight the, the big lad. Yeah. You know when they, they you know when they were making Nintendo 64, they were like, what if Kirby had a fire sword? And what if we could bring that to the gamers? That sounds great. I feel like I imagine the slide deck for this game, and it's like a mood board of, of really violent weapons with Kirby in the middle. Or like, things Kirby could do. One, fire sword. <laughs> Two, Junji Ito. <laughs> Oh, I was testing that a little while and they just get ahead and then uh, there's going to become a bomb. Oh my goodness! I want that! Oh my days! Oh my days! Oh my days! Uh, so Amanda, I think this is going to be a perfect time. I think it's kind of just that everyone knows. It's like my days? Yeah, I'll let everyone know. Well, that's Will Kirk who says on my days, but his boss's name is 
Jayblades. Jayblades! It's incredibly good. And he's just like a 45-year-old guy who loves to restore yeah. uh, armoires, whose name is Jay Blake. Yeah, he's like a sexy like leather apron situation, and he's definitely like the supervisor of this locale in that he like walks around this shared workspace and just kind of like pops in to touch stuff or be like, how's it going? And they're all like, fine, I'm a watch restoring professional. <laughs> I'm Steve the horologist. And he's like, oh, babe, this is such a small mirror. And then he'll like walk away again. Um, so... <laughs> It's uh, it's incredibly good, and then of course he shows up for the for the reveal where they show the item to the people who brought it in. Um, so I'm just like, that's the big boss energy. Oh my god, this guy's been possessed. Oh, it's hard. I was worried that those pixels were us, but it's just him. Yeah, he like got possessed by the dog. Oh no. It's scary. There's just no fly. I know. That that feels pretty bummer. It feels very like unpleasant for like the dog is possessing you. It's like, oh yeah. It's gonna be I like, this is like very 64 to me, because like there's a whole thing about how smoke in Mario 64 like doesn't render at all, because it was like a bug in the code. But so like seeing the, the black uh, smoke of the evil guy. That makes like, sense. Yes, we are. Okay, yeah. so Amanda, I need to jump and grab these things. Are you ready? Tell me when to go. I, t I tell you when to go? Yeah. Okay, I think one, two, three. And then uh, tell me when to jump. Okay. Yay! You made Kirby jump. Congratulations. He oh, jumped thanks. right into the picnic. I, I, I love how I too jump right into the picnic. That's how I feel when I set out a cheese board and just like fucking go for it. I would like to say you are definitely celebrating Jewish Jewish Christmas right now. Yeah. By doing something that has nothing to do with the holiday. Uh, you're probably still at work. Um, there's Chinese food waiting for you. Mm -hmm. um, I said you should. We're consuming some incredibly old piece of media because you're like, ah, oh, there's nothing good in the movie theater. Let's see what that is. I want some comfort at the moment. Yeah. Oh, did I lose the bomb? <laughs> oh, I love these little umbrella head nods. Let's see if I can grab them. Let's see if I can keep them. Rock. But I did that just for, just for, uh, my, my oh, Okay, so I can turn into a rock. Classic purpose. <laughs> classic purpose. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the, like, down B move, right? And right. Yeah. No, sir! I was trying to do something cool for my beloved! Excuse oh, me! No. Excuse me! I don't need a bomb to love you. Oh, nice. Fire. I it feels fire. like fire so mad. Here we go. <gasps> yes! That's the best one! He looks like a soup dumpling. <laughs> soup dumpling Kerbis! Yeah! So what did we have? We have Fired Sword Kerbis, we have Soup Dumpling yeah. Kerbis. Yeah. Um, we had Jinji Edo Kerbis. Yeah. Look what your brethren has done for me! Look what you have wrought! I do like that when they die, they just explode these stars. I feel like that's the sort of humanist view of death. I mean, just like that, you know that. We're yeah. the same stuff with the mm -hmm. okay. Did you know John Green, did you know that? Yeah, and um, it's not really the stars, but instead ourselves. But, um, hey, maybe, um, maybe Kirby, the crystal shark, could be our old face. I can tell from the way you say the word maybe where you're going with that. Hey, maybe. <laughs> hey, maybe Junji would have Kirby. <laughs> what I really like about this, and it's different than just regular Rock Kirby, is that he's just like, oh, hey guys, I'm Kirby. Yeah. What's up? Oh, no! I'm a oh. volcano! I've been a volcano this whole time! Sorry, I got distracted by how that other one disappeared into the, um... Oh, you just, you just get out of there. All right, see you later, guy. It's, cr Hi. it's Christmas. That's my other <laughs> I'm the North Star. Jesus, what are, Jesus what is Lord. <laughs> what are... Oh, sorry, I have to go portent the birth of the Savior. Um, <laughs> Jesus, is the, Jesus is our Savior. Um, What were the two planets that crossed over on Friday? 
Oh, Saturn, Jupiter and Saturn? Yeah, those are those two stars. Nice. Hi, chat. Please, uh, please engage with us. We're glad you're here. Oh, Ooh. So nice. Okay. Let's see if I can get a lick. That would be really fun. What's happening? Ready? I'm ready. Okay, do you want to guess? What do you um, think? Um, like a, uh, one of those, like, is it called, like, a, a the spheres where you touch it and static ink? What are those called? You know what I mean? Yeah, like the ones that are only in a children's yeah. science museum. My brain is saying Vanderwerf sphere, because I just interviewed Emily Vanderwerf last <laughs> last week, but, uh... Wow, name drop on her sphere. Oh, my theme. God. Oh, oh my, my days. days! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, so I'm going to go with children's uh, museum sphere as well. Oh, okay. Be like a sonic boom? No, he's a, he's a lightning rod and he gets hit by lightning. Incredible. Hi, Fern. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, little spider guy. Electric spider, in fact. That was mine. Oh, that's a trap book. <laughs> yeah. Electric spider. Oh, Animal Crossing. I've definitely neglected my island. Um, as of late, because I've been super into Stardew Valley, uh, I haven't been there in the snow yet, so I'm very excited to check that out. Do I trust this man who wants me to come on a fall adventure? He looks too cute to be an enemy. Can I stay up here? Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's weird because last time someone told you to get good, and then and then here you figured it out. Welcome to welcome to Jackass. <laughs> on top of this waddle dee while it takes me. I did not know we could do this. This is incredible. I'm genuinely uh, flummoxed. Thank you, Jeff. This feels like a uh, this feels like a, a, a hack, like on a speed run. Where you're I like, know. Oh, you can actually just like ride the guy's head the whole way and then jump into the finale. This is, listen, this is still Miller High Life for sex, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Remember that joke from three streams ago? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. This guy didn't like that joke. Um, Fern, I appreciate that you put 800 hours for starting because I am probably on like 300 hours and I was like, is this uh, more of the intended use case? Uh, but I, here's the update. We're going to have some more content. I'm very really excited about that. Is that like a lot of it? I feel like you can just put something in there. Oh, good, a child painting. Good. Once again, oh, let us know. No. Oh no, the Heartless came out. Uh, let us know once again about our sound quality and our sound volume. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> See, that's usually good. Hey, thank you. This is the stuff. Only love Fern is giving us the real shit. Usually I'm not super quiet, so maybe I'm just like yelling compared, but let me know if that works. This is better. I don't want to kill it with electricity. <laughs> Hit it with literal lightning. If you said the, uh, the third dimension here is not the best. I mean, that's her power. <laughs> Please stop. Hey, is it okay if I, um, like, fall into your, into this child's drawing? Is that okay with you? Are you fine with that? Yeah, I Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and the child jumped on me. Oh man. How is that the thing that killed you? Oh no, oh, no my lightning power is uh, Oh
So is that one pixelated because it's a me? Is that one a boob? <laughs> and this child drew it? I don't think that's what I don't. <laughs> Yeah, listen, we're uh, we're rocking that stereo. We could be mono. We'd be no, we are audio professionals. <laughs> we use high quality no, microphones no, no. and we use stereo. If Eric sounds too loud, let me know. Never. When have I ever been too loud on something that we've done together? Never. 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 Like a 45 year old man was just like, hey, stop, Kirby, Kirby, stop it. Stop eating everything. Yeah, I, I always, um, I always hate when in animated shows they have someone or a setting that's like extremely differently animated. It feels like it's just something like breaking my brain. I was very pleased that Spider Man, that it's Spider Man, uh, okay. <laughs> that it, it thought smartly about how to reconcile all those styles. You don't understand, my whole like identity is tied up in people who are good at games. Mine is that I'm building a catechism, so we can have this thing started. My games with a... It's like, uh, sorry, I found a game I'm really good at, and it's actually ruining my brand. <laughs> yeah, I'm creating it. Kirby, Kirby looks so hurt. Did he get tired? Yeah, because he only has one, 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 yeah, one. What am I supposed to do? How is Kirby 64 flummoxing? Christmas Eve. I can't figure this out. I do really enjoy the fall. I have no idea what to do. Am I going to lose again? Uh, <laughs> what are you? The music's upset with me. I think I need to just... Same. I died intentionally. It was. I think it was supposed to give me something to throw at her. Let me like save the final blast from the final battle. Hey, that's what that's the only way I can do. Oh no. Heck. Well, don't worry, we just had double the audience right now. So guys, this is Eric's first run. <laughs> this is my awesome. first thing, this is my first time doing this. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, uh, there's the, the nipple again. Come hang so out with us the child in the chat the child so child that I can forget me. Eric's saying the word nipple. <laughs> leave it on the counter. Is it 
better flat norm. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I know it's a bold opinion. I don't. Here's the thing. You're incorrect. <laughs> I like it crisp, but this one is warm and it's also good. I think that just shows the Miller Highlight for diverse. Yes. It's an application. So like if you if you had like a you know a mere Bloomberg sized cup of Miller Highlight for the baseball game or something, it would still be good. Is that a joke about how Mayor Blue is small, or <laughs> the size of the soda is at? The size of the soda. Yeah, get ready, guys. We're going to talk about old mayors of New York City, baby. Right. I have not yet read The Power Broker, mostly to spare the people in my life from me talking about The Power Broker. So. I'm surprised you haven't read it yet? No. That's like your entire shit is talking about I how know. terrible men have been a part of infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's extremely long. I don't have the ebook, so just in terms of like, uh, uh, practicality in my reading days. Wait, I did it. <gasps> I, I hurt oh. that small child. Well, that was successful and slightly anticlimactic. I really hurt that small child. <laughs> oh, no. You really, you really booped her pretty hard. Why they're they're high fiving hurting that small child? <laughs> hey, remember when I when you hurt that small child? That was sick. Yeah, it was. This Mary's super cute. I like her. Oh, now you're friends? Oh. Okay. Ooh, picnic blanket. Here we go. I really want you to get the McDonald's tomato. You want the tomato? Yeah. Okay. See you. Gamer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> When? See, you know, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Okay, if you were throwing yourself I and know. you were getting ready to throw, you would do it at the top of your throw. I think so too. Kirby's really trying to make me look like a real dunce, and I'm <laughs> unhappy about it. Remember when I wrote on top of that Waddle D like I was like I was a jackass? That was cool. Remember me as that. Yeah. Remember me as a time of day. Okay. Bye. Cause I'm a, I'm a gamer. Listen, you can also you can also play Hades or something. We should start playing. That's true. Once we uh, we have like some decent plans for this stream. I know that we're we're kind of fucking around with this um, during Christmas, just because whatever is happening. But we have some ideas. <laughs> just like we had time. Oh, fireworks! Ooh, that is a good one. I, what I don't love about it, if I could have, if I could level some critique, yes. is that it looks like he's being shot. It does, yeah. The gray, the gray coloration, not ideal. Oh, that didn't even say, okay, so now I have, I have boomer right again. Where you, remember you give up part of yourself to become a weapon. I do, is that neat? Oh, the meat didn't fall. I didn't like that. <laughs> um, right. So I got distracted by Kirby getting shot by cannons. So uh, I do have a capture card on the way. I have a switch. Thank you, Skin Boomerang. Skin Boomerang sounds like a joke I made in like freshman year of college. And it's like, oh, there's Skin Boomerang over there throwing himself around. It feels like vinyl, uh, not vinyl, uh, viral pornography that came out when we were in middle school. Oh yeah, and it was like, gross. like no, I don't I have like broadband. Viral pornography is a good phrase. Thank you. And I think we should put it as put it. See, we got another <laughs> list viewer since you said viral pornography. Listen, um, Jaya, this um, this one goes out to you. Sorry, uh, call me Skin, Mr. Boomerang. It's my father. <laughs> um, oh, streaming's good. Streaming's really <laughs> Here's fun. the thing. Streaming Otherwise, good. we'd be making these jokes to each other while, like, watching media or watching a playthrough and then watching other people make different jokes and being like, damn, why can't I make this joke on that with them? Yeah, so the stuff that we're going to do on this channel, we have a capture card coming. I have a Switch um, that I want to make sure it still works because Amanda and I both got Switch Lite because we just like the fact that it's just a really, really good um, game mode. Which I mean in the best way possible, which yeah. just changed my life. I upgraded from a Game Boy SP to Switch Lite. And now you're playing, and you're playing the, the yeah. Switch. 
Um, we, we play it all the time. So we have this, and then we have these games, like the N64 games and stuff that we have on our computer. But um, we're going to get the capture card, and I'm trying to get my hands on Xbox Series X and get... Um, and get... Uh, Xbox Game Pass so we can play a bunch of different games together. Um, and I have a GameCube, which we're also going to put in the capture card. But then, we're also going to do some stuff that are not video games. I was thinking that since Amanda and I spent so much time telling each other facts that we've learned that, like, destabilize our idea of um, Americana and our country, that, like, we can do stuff like that. We, Amanda and I, we have such, like, I feel like we have such specific, um, knowledge bases that we yeah. can do. We have, like, and we both love making stupid PowerPoints. So I think that, like, at least once a week or once every two weeks, we're going to have, like, a PowerPoint. Yeah, no, or a PowerPoint yeah. screen where we uh, where we do that and we can like show you show you make slides. And stuff. Among my favorite um, things in the world, Eric, is when there is an article or a tweet or something or a reference in a TV show we're watching, and you're like, hey, what is like obscure financial terms? And I'm just like, pause the, the TV show. Let me tell you all about. Uh, you know, credit default uh, Dodd swaps. Frank and credit default swaps and mortgage backed securities. And they're all extremely fucking interesting and they're they're made to be confusing so that you don't understand them and that financial markets can continue, you know, benefit the most of Anyway, I'd love to talk about that. Uh, I can't talk about obscure financing, but I can talk about other other such. <laughs> oh, thank you, small Aww. child. Small painting child. You really come so far. I won't tell you, I won't tell anyone about the news. <laughs> and, and as long as you don't talk about my skin. Um, yeah, I think that there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do. And I, I really want to do like, super, like PowerPoint nights and say that you're playing video games. Because, yeah. like, listen, you could go anywhere for video games. So where are you going to go for, like, really intense. Oh! Oh no! I don't. I hate that. I don't like that. Where are you going to go for really intense PowerPoint? Do you think that was better or worse than the, um, the slide track? I think oh. they both have in common the teeth, which I don't love. I like I like this worse. Like I thought that the Jinjito really and like the body horror of it all really kind of sold it. Yeah. But so I like it less. But is it less traumatizing? I guess <laughs> is what you're looking for. Yes. Uh. I think so. I think. I think it's less traumatizing. Was worse. Particularly the first one. But it was like worse and better, is what I'm saying. Ooh, I can get double fire. What do you think double fire is? Flamethrower. Flamethrower. I feel like I'm wearing this kind of thing. Ouch. Alright, <laughs> sir. Fine. I'm just trying to participate in your game. In your game facts. Oh, uh, double fire. Ooh! Ooh. You're like Moltres, apparently. You're what a is that? You're a Phoenix. Oh. Moltres. Of the original one from the Pokemon. I don't remember that at all. I have no memory of that. One of the legendary birds is a fire bird. It's like basically just a phoenix. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Well. All right. Oh. Sir. Oh. This is a game for chill. Bye bye. Oh, I Mol molten plus trace. The, the Articuno. Arctic plus Uno is Articuno. So. I didn't know this. See, that would be a great PowerPoint presentation on the mythology of the legendary birds because they're all god and real. Yeah. I love how god's real in Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> legendary Pokemon. Like EJ goes to the goes to uh, Kanto. And he's like, oh no, God isn't dead. God is a Pokemon. Yeah. Plato comes out, takes off his sunglasses. Like, damn, that is the true form. Man, why? I can't believe I've been in this cave for so long. I gotta get out of this cave. Good thing Moltres got me out of it. The light source of the entire time was uh, Moltres. Now, admittedly, I'm not paying attention, but I am having a hard time following this plot a lot. It's just that the static is making his friends evil. Yeah, I mean, some of these people are already evil. Like, they, like King Dedede is already the protagonist of this game. This guy. This guy. He's a king and he's also a bird. He's, you know, he's, like, he's, he's one of my favorite people to play. In, uh, he has a hammer and he's a large guy. I love him. And also he 
Retrospect, I understand. <laughs> Retrospect, I get it. Oh, oh nice! Look at you. One shot. Well, now that like I understand what to do and I had a weapon, yeah. it was much easier to do. It was much easier to do. Man, it feels so exciting to have actual people here watching this right now. I have never mm. done internet media you know, with the Sammy is really tempting. You want the Sammy? Sammy or the or the Tamat. How about the you want? What about the big red star? Do you think I can get that? Yeah, I just don't understand jump physics in this game. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. so I got the Sammy. I'm learning a little bit. There was <laughs> it was in the middle, and he jumped okay. I don't know. Oh, so this is a classic. Do you know this bird? This Wow. Do you this know tree? this tree? Uh, it looks familiar. Yeah. yeah. He is like the tree in the first level of Nice. And oh, I've seen it before. Now we're in 3D. Oh, I'm still the firebird. The little tiny. I'm going to have to go. Oh, hey, you know, we never talked about this. Oh, you know who's gonna love that? Oh, he's super good. Anyway. Uh, you know, oh, Matt Bulber's great. Well, he's in, um, isn't he in, uh, Doom Patrol? He is. Oh, he is? Yes. Oh, good for him. He's, he's so good. Well, you know who's gonna love, like, definitely get the eye. Um, he's so good at it. And loves bisexuality. You need our other problematic fame. Our incredibly un our unproblematic Chris Pratt definitely doesn't like to go to a weird church. Chris Pratt indeed. J Jaya Jaya is giving me so much content. Jaya, you're, you're great. creator of Skin Boomerang <laughs> and Chris Pratt, <laughs> noted creator of Skin Boomerang. Jaya is fucking is, is fucking smashing it. Well, I, I would give you the McDonald's tomato if I could, Jaya. <laughs> Listen, if nothing we're doing, you're bringing the fire. It's true. Skin boot. I have a tattoo of skin boot right now. <laughs> wow. And, and you just like, you know. I like how everyone's just like, you know what we should yeah, do yeah. is jump in this star shaped portal. Let's definitely jump. Yeah. But yeah, Chris Pratt's not going to kiss the guy. I do love Matt Bomer. Um, I'll get it. It's pop star and not rock star. Oh, look at that naming convention. Um, Matt Bomer, the fact that he had his entire face covered for the vast majority of uh, Doom Patrol, mm -hmm. extremely funny, as he is, like, noted one of the prettiest men. Yeah. You all should watch Doom Patrol. We watched it on DC Universe. Because it's on HBO Max now, right? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Really good. Really, really good. It, Chris, uh, what's his name? Who plays Robot Man? Who is George um, of the Jungle and in The Mummy? Uh, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser fucking crushes. He's like, we all know, I mean, we, we don't have to know what happened in the tragedy of the like, career. But like, he's still an incredible actor. And he also has to do with a lot, a lot, a lot of voiceover work. Because yeah. he plays a robot and he's a robot. And it's all just like a voiceover. Except for when he does like, he's also, his original character is like a sleazy, race car driver. Yeah. So he also plays like a sleazy dad yeah. in his flashbacks. He is outstanding. I think I can summarize it well. If I recommended this to a friend the other day and I she was Googling the title of it as I said it. And then she was like, um, Brendan Fraser, no. And I was like, Brendan Fraser, like, yes. And that was that was uh, my experience of the show. Very good. I feel like the whole show is stunt casting. 
because yeah. Alan Tudyk is the is the um baddie, baddie in the early season two. Um, and she and he like plays someone who gets to look in the into the fourth wall because he's like controlling reality. That's his power. Yeah. So which is such Alan Tudyk stuff to do. The wo- who's the the woman who can stretch? I don't know the the actress's name. Yeah, me neither. But she's outstanding. And the one um, who has, is playing multiple roles. In one character. Who has multiple roles. You know, like sometimes having multiple personalities in superhero drama is not good. But like at least they're trying. And yeah. she's she's an incredible actress. She was from uh, Orange is the New Black, right? Yes. Uh, she's, I, I think I watched a Death Sex and Money. Yeah. Like, like, she had like a, like a... Sorry. No, these, these are all, yeah, these are all premises of, um, of power. I think it is. Um, we watched a lot no of... Spoil, um, no spoil, that's yeah, literally yeah, no spoil. That's literally just a character. That's just like the premise. We very much want you to live. Yeah. There is absolutely no spoiling. Like, all that happens. But no, it's like it's like and it, it, it's like an AMC drama if it also had powers. Mm-hmm. Like it gets very intense at some point in like a while. And like out into it it's just like barreling uh, the camera and like saying uh four and stuff. Yeah. I feel like it does a lot of things that in in less depth hands would be really cliche. Like it I think like any genre piece. You know, like it, it traffics in a cliche, like it must, must engage with them in some way to use them or to, you know, go against them. Um, and it just, like, it, it just, it earns all of the tricks that it plays. It does. Well, it's almost because the casting is, I yeah. think, worthwhile. In that Matt Bomber, um, yeah, has a lot, he actually has a ton of food. Yeah. He has some food and, uh, literally has his power of negative man. Uh, he literally has a man inside of him, which is a, med- a, a ham-fisted metaphor, but also then they do it, and it's yeah. like, oh, wow. All, I mean, all of the characters, like, all of their, like, in the way that they should be, like, all of their powers have something to say about the person, but I feel like they're so empathetically played that um, it's not totally yeah. Brendan Fraser, come on. Come on, house breakfast. Brendan Fraser, welcome um, to house breakfast. Do we have any kind of breakfast jam that we're going to be doing on this thing? No, I wasn't sure. I mean, house breakfast is just what we call our life together. Yeah. So I figured it was that's what we should call it. And, um, but no, what do you think? Well, no, it's not what I have for breakfast. But, uh, or maybe in chat, you want to know what you like to have for breakfast. I'm going to have to do this there. I did this game every day, which is a Martin Cepedo fried egg. And some probably amazing maple sausage from our, like, I, I ate the, I, you, you were gone already for work when I ate my sausage, and then I was like, I just had a bite, and then I said, fuck, this is so good. <laughs> you had to have a quiet moment to yourself, yeah, where you did. said, fuck, great sausage. No, I just said it's very quiet. Like, <laughs> they didn't, you know, no one gave me a cutaway. <laughs> oh, no, the sand. see, what did I Oh, I had um, my favorite breakfast. I had my favorite cereal, Quick Row Squares, um, for breakfast. And then I had coffee milk and some truffle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think breakfast is more interesting. Nice. Uh, even my favorite genre of cereal. You made breakfast dinner. Well, you made focaccia, that's fine. Uh, Amanda is now a master of move over Claire Sapphics, also really did the same. The races of my part of the team, but also move over to the man that's much better than you, I think. I think. <laughs> this is spicy. This is going to be a real spicy yeah. Everyone else clip this out. Tell them what's out. I do look forward, uh, you know, hopefully to having a real health breakfast breast. Oh, um, yeah. There are so many gifted arts out there, I am not one of you. Yeah, it fried egg. We love fucking swings. We love... We love toast. Toast. We get food. Ooh, that's a fried Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. There's a coffee shop near us that, um, during quarantine has started selling their cold brew and, like, little... 
Well, they sell the, the rocket fuel, which is like concentrated coffee, plus like maple and chicory as well. Ooh, bone guy. Ah, oh, shit. I was thinking about coffee. Sorry. Yeah, this is just like dark souls. It's like you find a guy. Yeah. Yeah. I um, used, uh, ironically, clear sap, uh, focaccia <laughs> recipe for bone appetite. <laughs> Um, and I really like it. I'm not really a confident reader of dough, and so the fact that you need it with the machine um, is really nice. It's kind of staged where you do like some work up front, let it rest, and do the shaving, and then you put it in the fridge for like a whole day. Um, and it we tried doing some toppings, um, some mixed results. I think it's important that your toppings are wet. Um, it's because we use dried, sun-dried tomatoes, which in Pinkfight Eric, I think we can just soak in oil. I guess so, yeah, I just, I always it. knew that that was like a thing you would get yeah. for two cheese. Yeah, uh, oh, rip for two cheese, love that Uh, but all of it did work out because they were, they were wet, they kind of, you know, scorched. They, but it was pretty easy to take off because they don't get stuck. They don't, they don't get stuck on it. It's not like they're, they're really gone, so I just put it off. The olives were really good. It's a great recipe. This is my first time making it with um, bread flour. I've done it with just regular flour and kneaded it for longer in the past, and it was fine. But um, I'm definitely, like, level one bread baking, so I feel like it was a really good recipe if you're getting into that. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Yeah. Also, like, the olive oil, like, goes away, which is nice. Yeah, it's really amazing. It truly, like, it kind of, kind of like, fries. The is so good. Ooh, okay. You can steep the rosemary in olive oil while it's proofing and then try it with rosemary nice. and olives. Yes, they did with the olives. We should do. We actually have rosemary from the, the previous meal box. Oh, yeah. Try that. Good uh, tip, thank you. And yes, the rocket fuel is incredible. I spend so much money on it. It's it's my favorite thing. But we we priced it out, and it's definitely more efficient than uh, than buying individual cold brews. It is it definitely is. Well, because it's co it's coffee concentrate, and I yeah. like feeling like a mixologist, where I um. You use our our son. <laughs> yeah, our son. We are tiniest, the tiniest of tiny um, measuring cups. Ooh, yeah. what are you? Okay, electric arrow. What do you think this is? Uh, I mean, it must be like a lightning arrow, like a lightning archer, right? I wonder if it's like an arc, like you turn into a mm -hmm. lightning. That'd be cool. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is the one guy. from before, right. Of course. Yeah, it's one of our many streams from before. Oh, was that the last one? I don't know. Okay, we've done some of We've done some of I'm so glad this is working. I know, me like, too. I, I almost forgot that it that I was worried that it wouldn't. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> I was too excited! You know, and then a column fell on me! I'm sorry that happened to you, honey. I think at the end of each level, we can pause for Eric's reflections. Um, oh, no, I'm very sorry. Oh, no. um, we're around a lot of audio. Well, I have, to talk to Chad. I have to talk to Chad for a second. Hey, I thought we were supposed to be a team together, but Amanda made me laugh <laughs> while I was drinking beer, and it was upsetting. Sorry. I think we should pause for Eric's reflections at the end of each level. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We get the wind chimes. I'll make a, I'll make a graphic of yeah, Eric's yeah, yeah. reflections. Oh, and, and then it can be like just like it can zoom in on your half of the screen. I'll try. I will definitely yeah, try. Right, I'll do try. an hour. I'll try to make an Eric's reflection. Cool, I got it. Um, listen, I had a good time. I like that you know sand is a lot of tiny rocks. When you think about it, it is. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just like a lot of there's a lot of tiny rocks when you really think about it. Um, yes, it was love burn. Um, oh, thank you. I, I thought Eric just made a, a cool joke, and I was like, "That's true." It was mild. It was mild. No, that's um, that's Zach Braff is seeing like the reflection, like the the yeah, oh, yeah, we're yeah. having an emotional moment music. Yeah. And it's ba 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 ba. Because that's like his fourth wall break. So you did originate the tiny rocks. I did. So anyway, good I don't joke. know if you knew, but like sand is tiny rocks. Yeah. So that's a good joke I made. Thank you. Like good. I don't know if you knew, but like uh, when we all die, we go to Christian hell. <laughs> Our other favorite house joke. It's his Christian hell. Um, just putting the word Christian before the word hell just really illuminates how we're talking about Christian hell. That's real. It's it's funny because it's just like a joke that yeah. I make yeah. because all uh, everything about it. I was deciding if on Christmas Eve it was okay for you to say that. Um, but yeah. No, you got this is mostly I want people to know how we Oh shit, I was I was concentrating no, okay. on being 
Same for the reflection. No, I just, I'm, what I'm excited about the stream is I want people to know, like, what we talk about <laughs> when yeah. we're not recording. Yeah. Because I feel like for both of our shows, and even for 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 during the party for spirits and for a horse, we're under very much like con there's stuff to do. Yeah. Like, well, because we structure those shows to have you know to have subject matter. It's, it's not a chat about everything cast right. very intentionally. But we talk a lot of stuff, so I enjoy. I, I enjoy it too. I agree. We just get to make the same jokes that we always make. I know, we Other lost a bunch of viewers after I said Christian Hell. <laughs> after I said it. I think probably people are surfing the, the, the kind of game that it is. And like tuning in and tuning out. And then being like, Whoa! <laughs> oh. Pretty so he, so he, creates, he creates static electricity. And then his head is on fire. Look at his face. Can you see his face? Can you see his face? He I looks so face, worried. Very. Oh, oh, I love fire! It happened again! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, lad. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. I will not get tired of that. No. <laughs> oh, they, they converge. Oh, you can jump really high. Oh, oh. good. I was thinking that's a long lead up time to be able to use your power. Um. Perspective is really interesting. the camera's at. Honestly, I mean, maybe it's because it's a side scroll and it's like a 2D and a half. Yeah, hat. yeah. You could have got like full 3D, but um, you know, the camera on the old N64 games. Watch play at sunshine. Oh yeah. Well, I feel that way. Even with the with the reboot of Mario 64, of the the Mario 3D All Stars, you really get a sense of how terrible that. Um, you really get a sense of how bad the camera was and how you were fighting with it. Like playing, even playing Galaxy, I was fighting against the camera because like. They didn't improve it. They're like, wait, but what if you could go in on a third axis through <laughs> space? And I'm like, hey, but you didn't fix it when you, you were just that. in a sunshot, <laughs> when you were just on vacation. That's like how Apple was like, oh, yeah, we have like a gyroscope in your phone now, but you still can't copy or paste. Um, That's a real. You still, uh, can, you still can't. Uh, you still can't really call people. Reliably. Is that cool? Is that good for you? Man, I feel like that's a real uh, a differentiator of like, micro generations for the millennials. Like, were you always able to copy and paste on your iPhone? You're lucky. Oh, that's right. God, my it's copy like and paste skill doesn't years. really work. I know. It's, it's, well, since they changed the way that you like long press, it's, it's a challenge. I, I just I want my BlackBerry back. I want BBM back. Yes. Keyboard keyboards for people with big thumbs. Big thumbs rise up. Gamers with big thumbs <laughs> rise up and demand that we get our key uh, uh, keyboard. I'm not thinking about how bad the camera is in Sword and Shield. I really enjoyed that game. And I love the fact that you can move perspective on the camera when you're in the wild area. And whenever I'm not in the wild area. Oh, shit. I was listening to your gamer take. Thank you. I have a few. Well, you actually played the. You actually played the. The. I was DLC. gonna say extensions, but. The DLC. Yeah, the DLC, and I never. I didn't even bother with that. Well, because my my primary aim was catching them all, uh, mm. so it was necessary for me to catch all the new pokes, which was some of it was fun, some of it was fucking terrible. Well, you caught you caught them all. I did. Um, well, technically missing one because you can only evolve slow king in the like the new kind of slow king in the other part that's coming out this year or next year. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. I know. <laughs> I've re I've reckoned with it. <laughs> I've accepted it. That is the. Uh... Oh man. I was I was really excited just to play kind of like a side scroller that if we could just be fun and <laughs> people easy, could know. Yeah. No, I'm good at games. But honestly, here's the thing: 
I'm gonna roast it. Oh, Eric, everyone's favorite, the water bottle. Oh, good. My, my mouth like buffered the water bottle. The water bottle. Thanks for. I do like how Kirby smells. <laughs> 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 Aww. What a lad. Did you say the word lad a lot? The clothing goes on the Yes, a real lad's lad. Um, let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about yeah. on our, on our, not, not just, the, oh, oh, let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about in the upcoming PowerPoints. We're going to talk about that more, but yeah. since you're here on Christmas Eve with us, you get exclusive information. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do these PowerPoints. I think we're going to try to put like a lot of stuff in a hat and then we only have like one day to prepare it before we do this mm -hmm. one. Or it's like, I was thinking like five slides max or five minutes max. Yeah. I wasn't sure which one. I think it would be funnier with slides. Yes. So like five slides max. I think so too. I'm definitely going to talk about white collar crime. Uh, I'm also really into like corporate histories. Like the fact that Disney uh, had like a possible takeover of it and that impacted like all of the content that we got. It's, it's what we understand what going to be now, the, the big thing that's that Yeah. Because that's all my content. For a long time, animation was never planned. And they were like, I guess you can make the Lion King, whatever. That's not game over. Me. That's me. Oh, no. Well, they're all just taking a nap together, I think. We all took a sneeze. We all just need a little bit of nap time. That's yeah, okay. Listen, sometimes a family is a Kirby, a very large bird with a hammer, um, a very large bird with a hammer, a child who paints, and whatever a waddle dee is. Yeah. Right, so the PowerPoint stuff. Just for fun, for us to do something else other than video games, I thought it would be fun to, like, you know, like when you see drunk PowerPoints or just, like, it's a party game, there's that thing that when it goes around on Tumblr every few months, it's like, my friends and I did a PowerPoint party where we just talked about random shit, and I think that we should do something like that, and maybe we could get, like, randomization that we need to look into. And we yeah. can ask you guys to do it just for fun, for you to learn something. And also for us not to play, like, necessarily video games on the stream. Yeah, to be hopefully funny and to teach you a little bit and just to laugh with each other. Yeah. Uh, do I need to do my reflection now? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking too much about Disney. Um, oh, that's very funny. Jai <laughs> just one of us makes the PowerPoint, the other one presents it. That could be funny, I think, for certain topics, for sure. Yeah. The other topics where I'm just like, this is what a pyramid scheme is. Might not be funny, actually, now that I say it out loud. Yeah, we don't. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. this is just a thing. Good idea. Around. Um, reflections. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag reflections. Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We're not doing anything. It's just it's Christmas Eve. No, I'm just gonna order dumplings and oh, go yeah. home. Hell yeah. I guess a level two is. Idea for the PowerPoint to be fun. Much like us, we're fun and informative. Uh, <laughs> that's the content that's that you signed up for. The hope. Let's check in our noties. How's everyone's audio doing? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna do this as mono. I know that this is currently stereo. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't. We didn't realize that until you said, it, and I thought it was a fun thing that happened. But we <laughs> will. We will uh, do that. Yes, very similar to Adam ruins everything, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly, I'm just happy about everything that came out of the college humor like network yeah. of things. It's it's everything is actually incredible. Like a lot of the old, like really old college humor. I am people. They all like work on SNL now. Oh really? Like those like that guy Streeter, right? That guy Streeter had like yeah. Like, yeah. He like he was he was a writer for, or I think he still is like a writer for SNL for a long time. Wow. Like, writer. Um, but like the, everything that came out of college humor recently, especially after everyone lost their jobs and the big companies got rid of them, like the stuff that's coming out of Dropout, Dimension Twenty. Um, everything, everything that Emily Axford and Brian Murphy do, like Nad Pod, not another DVD podcast, and Hot Date, and Drawfee, like, and Adam ruins everything. Like, so much was incubating in, in, uh, Call Tumor, and I find that incredible. Yeah, it was very briefly a great place for, like, very talented people to work together and, you know, try and do good stuff. Yeah. And be paid to learn, which... Does anywhere, I don't think that happens anywhere. 
but as like developing their comedic voices and like ability yeah. to make other things, I think is is incredible. Um, it's a bummer that they all lost their jobs, but now they're all making money in their own way and don't have corporate overlords. We're gonna take a look at our Wi-Fi as well, cause mm -hmm. and maybe it's just because of uh, Xmas. We lost a we lost a bunch. Um, okay. But it could also be you. I didn't want to rip you for your inner <laughs> for your internet. But you burn. recognize it may not be us, so we appreciate the the you know context. Okay, this is Rocks Electric. What do you think of this? Uh, volcano Electric. Let's see. Oh, oh Riptide Pen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for following. Hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was not. There, there, here's the thing about streaming. There's so much happening at any time that yeah. I don't like. I, I could be chat master. You should, no, you should. But like, yeah. also, I'm excited. I like yeah. hearing everything. Yeah, no, that's true. Okay, check this out. Ah, uh, that's sick as fuck. And it's, it's, that's like the little chompy guys in, uh, in Super Mario. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a chain chomp. That's a very useful power. Look at that. Your radius is like incredible. And I guess. Oh. Listen, if streaming is hanging out with with you guys, this is really fun. <laughs> Play video games. Yeah. Too. Uh, she also like also the things inside. We honestly, a lot of this was inspired by Drawfee. We love Drawfee, um, especially their current iteration and that. Patreon and how incredible they are, but like the, the secret uh, the sleepover society that Jacob and Julia do, they they like live together and they just like stream for and uh, and like it's, it's inspiring. You can just do things whenever you want, yeah. and that's something that we have this studio. We're the only ones who use it because of quarantine, I and mean, we live really close, and like no one else comes in here. And, like the studio is part of our pod. But, um, this is why we need to do it in the first place. So also, uh, hey Jacob and Julia, come on house breakfast. Is that like a weird double date thing? This feels like, like it now feels like too coupley. It. it feels way too coupley. Yeah, now that you Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. I'm so happy you all listened to Unsleeping Party, which probably was one of the highlights of my year. Getting to play a game with Brendan Lee Mulligan. For those of you who don't know, that's the, the new bonus episode we did with. Uh, we did on Join the Party with Brendan Lee Mulligan, the DM of Dimension 20. He is so talented. I interviewed him for a punch bowl, one of our art interview segments, uh, earlier. And then when we do. Uh, oh, that's just not right. Hit yourself on the butt. It's pretty funny. Hey, I'm trying to talk about Brendan Lee Mulligan. Leave me alone. Um, he, uh, we interviewed him for a punch bowl. And, like, the man talks in paragraphs in a way I don't think I've ever heard anyone else do like even like politicians and like people who mm -hmm. talk for a living like that they still they like talk about they it's like oratory oratory yeah skill and but, not like communication skill I think yes well Brendan is just like I'm gonna tell you the thing I have in my brain about this thing and just say it so we finally get to play get a game with him oh you have a turtle named I thought the name of the turtle was spinach. Which is also very good. Thank you. Oh, um, incredible. I, uh, I love the show Elementary, and they have a turtle named Clyde uh, who eats lettuce a lot, but oh my god, a turtle. Um, so yeah, and then became this game like from the Sleeping City, which was very New York, which is something that neither Brendan and I get to un unleash a lot. Definitely him, because he doesn't live in L.A. He yeah. lives in L.A., and no one cares about Long Island. <laughs> and they're like, oh, nice, cool. You want to go to the beach? I was, that's not for you. Um, and getting him to play the game with someone who's a perpetual PM, and he's so incredibly talented. He's so much fun. Um, yeah, I just, if you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's, it was one of the highlights of the year. Brendan is so nice and incredible. And hopefully, uh, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think. Like, hey, I would love people. to keep yeah. hanging out with Brendan Lee Mulligan, famed, like, third most famous dungeon master in the world. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love that he's doing something. Yeah, I, I was really impressed by, A, the fact that you 
both were like so I don't know so ready to cause conflict like I love the design of that game in that oh, okay. it presupposes you know conflict and that is I don't know something I find really hard um, I want to make choices that like make everything okay and I think that's supposed to do a really good job of you know, emotional devastation that you find um, but also he had just come from like getting COVID tested at Dodger Stadium and it oh, yeah. forever and like he ran late and he was so apologetic about it and we were like oh dog it's fine it's fine um and he just it, like as soon as you guys started the game it was just like this is what we're both doing with 100 percent of our brains and hearts i mean i appreciate that it's it's wonderful um yes please name your turtle asparagus i think that's a good one. You, sh- you need to get a turtle now actually yeah. and then you have to name it asparagus yeah. something that i have trouble as a dm is emotional devastation like that's i think that all dms have like I have a best skill, and I think that that's what people tune in for. Some of the most incredible DMs have like more than one specialty. Yeah, and I think Brennan's is he has more than one. One is his ability to like write a novel and invest in D and D like it's a novel, and like write all of that backstory. Exposition, so yeah. he know, but like he knows the details of the world back backwards and forwards he probably wrote a novel before yeah. you actually touched anything else which you saw with um a crown of candy i mean he flexed that so hard the other thing that he does he, he emotionally devastates i think that he knows that like D is an emotional release for his friends to like deal with trauma and deal with uh emotion in their lives that they don't have enough safe space for and i think like how you do me. I'm projecting it. So, like, please don't go tell him that this is something I said. Um, but yeah. I, I think in a good way. I think it's incredible. And the fact that he wields those two, that it's like, oh, I'm going to play a really crunchy ass game that, like, has 5,000 years of, 5,000 years of um, backstory. And then all of a sudden, I'm crying in episode two. Yeah. Is. Everything, everything else about that is, is amazing. Yeah, and I feel like this is a little bit, you know, biographical criticism of the of the author. But I have a friend who taught at the same like RPG or not RPG, excuse me, uh, LARPing LARP, summer yeah. camp that Brennan worked at for a long time. And so I knew Brennan as like the guy Roy knows a little bit. Um, and just knowing Roy for so long, like you spend you know hundreds of hours every year like as your job all the time creating worlds for teenagers to inhabit and like work their shit out and i think that you know that kind of explains or maybe it's where that competency started but i think you can tell this guy um, has like has talked for tens of thousands of hours you know like doing the exact thing he's doing now but yeah i mean i i think that the game definitely the thing that you know i like a lot about dimension 20 is the fact that like yes there's cool combat everyone is very funny and you know knows how to be a big part of an ensemble um well done Thank you. But also, there is, you know, pathos. Yeah. Lots of them. Lots of them. And pairing those two, I mean, that's what makes it an incredible thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm kind of like, I mean, it's hard to enjoy fantasy <laughs> in, in, like, the world we're living in right now. But, uh, I mean, he, he wrote one. He did He wrote the, the script for, uh, a uh, comic book. For a graphic novel really? that with Emily with Molly Oster, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> too skin, too boomer. <laughs> no. uh, I hope you're okay with these skin novel jokes and yeah. these delicate lines. Yeah, I'm to come to every stream. Just, just please tune in so I can say funny things. Um, ooh, ooh, okay, DDD. Really sliding oh, in. Oh, yeah. yo, yes, yes. It's all I've ever wanted! Oh my god, little Kirby backpack. Little to Kirby backpack. Don't forget him. He's so small. You he can, he can hammer through the dark parts of the wall. Look where? Like if you go back to the. Yeah, like that. Oh. Oh, Breath of the Wild. That's something that I, I feel like could be a good game for me. Where I like basically open worlds, collecting things, and uh, only fighting when I have to. Yeah, I, I have Breath of the Wild. As soon as we get the capture card, we oh. figure out what's up with the this, this Switch. We can do that. Also, I have that on cartridge, so we won't have to mess with nice. that. Nice. PJ um, would love nothing more. Yeah, I think that would be wonderful. We can, like, trade off. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, there's also like puzzles and stuff. So I think that if there's like gamer stuff, I can do that. Mm -hmm. But we can, we can, uh, we can go off and on. We're also trying to like figure out a schedule. I know that like streaming, and now that like we're doing it and this is actually working, like streaming is all about front end work and you just kind of do it and we we'll, can just like do this after work because we're already here. Yeah. But um, we'll figure out a schedule. Like yeah. we'll do like one weekday thing, like, and then maybe maybe on weekends if like you want some weekends or whatever. Yeah, like, I don't I don't even know. I'm just I'm literally so far. I'm also really curious about people's sort of like behavior with this medium, like mm. watching stuff after it happens. Um, I don't know if you can comment on streams after, like during playback, but I'd be very curious for, for you guys, like when do you like playing um, these videos or watching streams? For us, I guess it's like after work a lot of the time, um, or just on random like weekend, you know, days. I don't think I, I don't use Twitch as it's live, but I watch a ton of YouTube videos of Twitch streams. Yeah. It's like, we'll definitely, hey, have you ever used YouTube, have you ever used YouTube before? But like, I mean, we can just upload these as as they are and throw them on the YouTube channel so that people can watch them later. You're doing the, we are doing the thing that I always get frustrated when people do on podcasts, which is like figure out their plans for their podcast on the podcast. But to be fair, this is for fun and not for jobs. I'm sorry. Should I? Should you no, no, no. Yet? I just, I just noticed that. Of, uh, I just noticed that. But like, it's well, it's more like project. I want to tell them. I'm yeah, telling. Yeah. It's more like, hey, what time do you want us to stream? And also, do you listen to YouTube yeah. later? I do think that I don't see us ever using this to record podcasts. Though. Yeah. That's something I feel very strong about. Is like, it, a podcast is nice because no one looks at your face. Yeah, and for us, that's our job. So it's yeah. just, it's a different. Like people treat streaming the way we treat podcasting is just like whatever your your job is. Sure. It's confusing. How do you get out? I don't know. I think I was just kind of doing the maze and I wanted the crystal shard, but mm -hmm. I always assume. I mean, I assume to it right. was top top yeah. right. Oop, there's some kind of spider guy there. I like little noises. Those are very cute. Uh, is it? Careful, careful. There you are. Blur. Blur. Nice. Careful. Careful. Blur. I would like. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can redeem yourself or or continue your streak, I should say. Well, I've I've only figured out how to. Oh, there we go. You oh, have to go to the bottom. Nice. Confusing. Kawhi. Time for my reflection. Um, I really like being a backpack. Yeah. It was really nice for me. Um, we're not people who get to ride on people's backs no. that often, so that was really nice for me. And I really enjoyed it. Um, also, uh, it was fun. I'm enjoying it. Oh. Me too. Yeah. I was sleepy before. Now I'm not. Chad's having a good time. I keep yawning to clear my ears. So I'm sorry. I think it, it, listen, here's the thing. You're allowed to be person. You are allowed to be person. What is... I don't, I don't that. like that. I don't like a box. I don't like a box that is also I. Very well explained now. Best way for them and the worst way for me. And the worst way for Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and two two skin too. <laughs> okay. I think my primary challenge with streaming will be not touching my face. I do think we should open it. I think we make it to join this together. Yeah. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter. And you can follow me uh, at L-E-L -L underscore Silvero, L underscore Silvero. That's my name. You can follow Amanda at She's So Mickey. Uh, and you can follow uh, House Breakfast at House Breakfast underscore. Okay, we can assume the existing house breakfast. That will be. They are eggs. I don't like, I don't like <laughs> two skin do boomerang anymore, so. <laughs> You're gonna re- we love the name, but we just dislike it. I don't like the I don't like the, 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 what it makes me turn into. Yeah. I don't like what it says about it. There is a, a, a spiral level. Uh, I don't know if typing in the chat boosts the stream more. That's a question for someone who understands. Uh, I think we do need to have a certain number of people engaging in the chat simultaneously. Yeah, so we're supposed to have five people at the same time. So uh, that is helpful. Thank you. Yes. Uh, but we'll, we'll 
figuring it out, you know, uh, eventually you'll be able to do subs and, and stuff here. But, you know, this is literally our... I mean, <laughs> I'm sure that the numbers are all messed up now because we've done, like, five streams today. But, um... Three. Today's goal was really oh, oh, thank you. Oh, please still chat. We all we, want you to we talk. We did this because of chat. We, we, we want to talk to chat. chat. We want to hear chat. No, we make podcasts where we just publish it, and then we're like, I hope someone tweets at me. Um, because it's just like, it's not a it's not a simultaneous medium. Even YouTube's not messed at least the comments appear, and people reply to each other's comments. That's how it is. It's our job. So it's really very gratifying and exciting to see people to talking to things. Thank you, guys. Listen, we also love talking about podcasts and podcast industry and what it's like to be too. I think that um, we were going to get some fun. And I know that I'm literally just breaking the rule that I just said <laughs> five seconds ago. But it'd be fun, you know, on the multi Ooh. for multitude, we have a, a multi crew where extra people get to. Um, where people support us get like extra. Yeah. And we we don't have a head hard gut coming out next Thursday because it's, it's the, the last, the fifth Thursday. It's a fifth Thursday. I like we can talk about like multitude stuff and stream it while we record. Or would that be too? That might be too many. Yeah, we'll have we'll too much. We'll have two microphones going actually. But we'll, we we are always down to talk about multitude and what it's like doing this as our main job and everything. So we'll just talk about it. We don't have to. Yeah. That's a great thing for chat. Uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're doing your part by teaching us how to stream. Shout out, Jeff. Big shout out. We're gonna buy shout you a bunch of food tomorrow. I'm Saturday. I'm tr I'm gonna buy him so much food. How many dumplings do you think I'm gonna order today? Like 36. No, that's too much. I feel like I'll have too many. Um, I am also now. I'm not, I'm think I'm like. I'm now. Reverse. Sorry, <laughs> Riptide Pen asked a, a brain buster of a question, and I was reckoning with it. Um, My parents' alternate was Alexandra. The only name more ubiquitous than Amanda in the 90s. That's true. Um, my brother, so I have a twin brother, for those of you who don't know, and our names were going to be also incredibly 90s. Are you ready? Are you ready? It was going to be Cameron and Carson. I don't know if I can put the name in Carson or Cameron. I would do, who do you think that would be? Get in chat. Everyone get in the chat. Like, yeah, I would get in is that ridiculous, Cameron and Carson? I have twin siblings named Austin and Bailey, who are going to be Morgan and Logan. Oh. Harsh. Oh, thank you. Love Fern, you joined the party, saved Aww. you during the first few months of the too. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed Campaign 1. Um, it's, it's a weird... Oh my, you were literally going to be almost Padma and Parvati? Uh, were you born after Harry Potter came out? If not, incredible. Ooh, yes, J Jeff. Let's tell so Jeff is also an incredible musician and has already sent, he's like making a house, a house breakfast lo-fi, lo-fi playlist for us to do, Yeah. Uh, do that. So he, I guess he's already started putting some uh, wet, uh, together. Yeah, butter toast yeah. is a great name. So yeah, Jeff, um, is this the lo-fi, is this going to be the lo-fi beats stuff? That's incredible. Oh, here's the ice. So this is the ice. So let's see if we'll get some. Yeah, so this is gonna be the lo-fi beat. So think about like breakfast with lo-fi beat. Yeah. Guys, yeah, I think you, I think you have the same like goddess energy in your name, regardless of which one. Okay. okay this is uh, so now this is ice boomerang. Yeah. What do you think? Ooh, ice boomerang. Snowballs. Could be snowballs. Lucky, like, nice. I think it might yes. be just a throwing icicle. Oh, hello. Of course. Man, Kerbis is out. Ah! Oh! Kerbis is just out creativizing us this entire time. Incredible. Of course. This feels like somebody's passion project. You know, it feels like somebody who, like, you know, rendered Kirby for other games. I think the thing about Kirby games that always get me is that I never think that they're being uh, original enough with their powers. And I think that for once, this is really. This is, they're actually being creative about this stuff. I mean, they, there's some other ones that they get to, like, some of the SNES ones. But I love these pairings. Like, just, there's an infinite number of combinations. And, like, everything that we say is, like, you need constraints cool. to help. Clifford is a great name. I, uh, my middle name is Noelle, uh, which I do like and wish was my name. Really? 
I, I did when I was a kid, yeah. Just because there was like, I, I now I have no. Problem. You know, <laughs> but I like it's spelled the, the German. I'm just ice skating. <laughs> I'm like, get out of the way, nerds! I, I'm ice skating. I uh, think it would be cool if your middle name Lauren could really, you know, um, rise up to a date. Yes, I do like my I do like my middle name a lot. It's L A U uh, R -E. L A U R. -E. So I feel like I'd be lit. Someone would. I'd be Larry. Like, I don't know if I had oh, the yeah. gravitas as a child. Child Larry is hard. <laughs> yes, we're, we're going to put mono on. We just realized this was stereo. Yeah. Um, but we will fix it. Don't worry. We will fix it for the next stream. But we, we had so much fun with people figuring out that we were stereo. <laughs> we could probably fix it now, but I kind of feel like Listen, now it's a thing for chat to bond over is that we did stereo. True, true. Yeah, I, had, I know where it is. Listen, I, I literally, it took me like three days and annoying Jeff a lot to teach myself Twitch Studio. Um, and I'm really proud of myself. And it's just like a lot. Like I made all these graphics and stuff. So like the fact that I know how to we fix something is really, is really getting, it's yeah. like, oh wait, no, I do know that. I'm really proud of you. We had none of this. Like over the weekend, we were like, can we make some things? Okay, and then we did it all. I do like, I do like, you can get the Amanda cut or the Eric cut, <laughs> <laughs> depending on how you want to put it. We have our stand. We have a really funny. I did want to say, I like how you, um, you sort of like looped one of these arrows with your thumb as you fell on it. And that was really cute. I don't want you to try it in case I was wrong, but I think it, it did happen. Oh, no. Oh, almost got hit by a bird there. That would have been bad. I can be less worried about overtalk now if people are listening to either the Amanda or the, Amanda or the Eric cut. <laughs> no, we can just talk. Oh my god, I almost it. overshot it. I was too good at jumping. If our lad wasn't as round as he is, it wouldn't work. That's true. Um, uh, how are you feeling? Do you want to keep turning? I'm enjoying myself. My, my back is full of No, it's good. I mean, like, we already streamed for, like, 20 minutes and then before. I feel like the, the stream time is, like, two hours-ish, and we should get dinner soon. That's fair. How about what we'll do? Let's finish this level. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's and then because there's a boss at the end of this. So we'll do this and then we'll, we'll do a boss. Oh, oh I didn't do reflections! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh, no. what is happening? Oh, no. A real Death Star ma'am. Ma'am, what is happening? Ma'am? Why is there fascist architecture in your Kirby world? Ma'am, what's happening? She's behind you. I don't think you can interact with her. Well, I was calling you, ma'am. I don't. As much as I love like the idea of of skating Kirby, I don't know. Oh, look, it's changing perspective. It is. I know. Ooh. Oh, so I was I was looking at the chat and I wasn't paying attention. Actually, Riptide Ten asked me if you were a character in Campaign One, what class would you? Um, so Campaign One is doing the party with the like, power. Yeah, I was Derek Devard, no, exactly. Next question! Um, it was, which was like our fantasy, uh, our fantasy. Um, question. I would have been a monk, I think. I really, yeah, Derek was a gnome, he was, he was a gnome. I had, or I think he was a dwarf, I can't remember, I can't remember. They're, they're all like fantasy, fantasy races. They may have made a gnome or a dwarf, I can't remember. But, um. Oh, that's bad. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, um, what would I have been? I would have been. I probably would have been a monk. I told Mike to be a monk. I told Mike to be a monk because I thought he would have the most time, most fun with it. He would have wanted to be like physical, he would have physical stuff and just be like have a really good charisma. It was like whatever. You're here for only one episode, a few episodes, five minutes to be a monk. 
That would have been a monkey thing. I didn't mean like a dragonborn monk would have been really fun. Like using my breath powers and also then using keyboards yeah. and stuff. But you, you came over to Monk City. Uh, you came over to Monk City. About 10 minutes after watching Emily Ashford begin to play uh, her Monk City, uh, you know, like, I was like, mm -hmm. Eric has been beating the, the drum on how great monks were. But for me, I, it's, hard to, it's hard to conceptualize that without seeing someone do it. So seeing her play it, I was just like, oh shit, yeah, like, this is great. Yeah. Um, but Campaign 2, I've been thinking a lot about superhero powers in terms of uh, D&D classes because I wrote the games and them all, all that. Um, so I probably would have, I might have used one of the classes that's like, different no capes. It would have been a monk as well. There's the, the monk of this, the way of the stretch, which is like being a, a Mr. Fantastic or even like a, a Wonder Twin Powers, like sort of, sort of monk where like you're doing a stretch when you turn into stuff, I think is yeah. the type of monk I would have been. But there's also like just I want that um, that incredible amount of power that a sorcerer gives you. Like if I was a fe uh, the fire sorcerer, the phoenix soul, um, or the clockwork soul, like the superhero reckoning with robots is something I care about uh, a lot. Um, yeah, I mean this is something I've been I played with the Knight of Mirrors, but I've been looking at the Cavalier as the riding class for a really really long time, um, and just like. You know, because Rangers have really got the short end of the stick in D and D, so like I like the idea of having being uh, partnered in that way. Yeah. So. That was my other my other thought was to be a sort of like city competent ranger. Oh yeah, this listen, the swarm keeper ranger in the yeah. city would have been incredible. I was gonna be a plumber and be like a water swarm keeper, basically. Yeah. Which I still think is dope. I still think it's dope. Okay, so we need to look at these. I feel like we need to look at these. Um, okay. Three star drop. Three star drop. Moon. Moon, sun, fish, cloud. Three star, three star drop three, moon. Three star, yeah, tier moon. Three star, tier moon, sun, fish, cloud. Yeah. Or maybe it was just the order of the levels. Right? I need to stop looking at chat. I'm so enamored with chat <laughs> that I can't, that I need to stop this because I lose for a moment and I die. Well, we can do a stream where I just like fish on Stardew Valley or something. Um, let's see what we capture. Okay, I'll set that to After after a while, because like it was really it was really hard to like kind of encapsulate and get my head around like all the stuff that needed to be in fantasy, um, which is why like everyone human beast. But I really loved I really loved all that, and you can like be just be a short king on your own on your own time as a as a human. Um, but you know I, I do love myself a short robot. Here's the thing, Tracy wants to be a Yes, you assumed he was six feet, but he's actually two Float, because that's Kirby, one of Kirby's many terrible powers. I wanted the card! Gurfed. Okay. We're gonna do this final boss here. I should still do my reflection. Um, 
Yeah, I thought the electricity was a little weird, a little much, but uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Let me know. Alright. Yeah, maybe he wouldn't have almost murdered the dragon for a time. <laughs> that would be really tiny. Okay, I beat the level. And now, um, I'm on to the I'm on to the boss. Apparently, some, uh, diamonds. Some oh, prisons. Oh my days. Was that this was that this screen? <laughs> oh no, there are three dots. Commander, there are too many prisons. No, I just wasn't sure. I'm just not exactly sure what I was supposed to do. They won't let me off this. They won't let me off this stream until until I beat it. Well, now the problem is. I would listen. You know I love a home. <laughs> you know I love a home group. So like I would. I would try to figure out like just maybe or even just giving me some buffs with the actual with the animal itself. Um, oh, make that preserver cosplay and send it to us. Sorry, do your say your 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 thing about your, your cool oh no no star anyway so before I beat it when uh when boss fights require like a lot of fucking dexterity and like throwing shit and whatever I just like Eric does it for me and I appreciate that about you oh thanks <gasps> you beat it I did yay yay what does the diamond do that's just your accomplishment Jeff am I not supposed to swear Are you just saying this, or is, see? Because Jeff, now every this is everything bad. you say, we assume is true. Of Switch. Jeff is also oh, <laughs> see. Okay, good, good, good. See, uh, Jeff, you, you're such a guru for us doing streams. We were like, oh, is Twitch gonna come down? I'm just like, no. Jeff's also one of my goofiest friends. Yeah. So the problem is a real problem. Um, Riptide, I think you could um, you could collect. Uh, like from the the user generated designs, I bet there's lots of like nerdy stuff that people have come out with. That could be a good T-shirt. I was just gonna say him having a uh, like a Star Trek. I'm sure they had someone doing Star Trek design. Definitely, and like Galaxy Floor, that would be all, all you need. But the cosplay um, creators are so much more creative than I am, so I'm sure you've come up with a much cooler version. Oh, she's painting. Oh, cool now she's now. using her powers for good. What? Is Of our um, Twitch connection uh, bar, which is good. It's 
been saying good this whole time I when know. it did when it didn't say good before. It was bad. And we literally had bad. to redo we literally yeah. had to redo our whole audio setup. Oh Aquastar! Aquastar. Uh, so we had Aquastar, so we did Rockstar, we did Popstar, we did Rockstar, and we Aquastar. But I think this is the perfect place for us to end it. Okay. We streamed so much. <laughs> we streamed so much. I think that this is very fun. I don't feel like I've been working for, you know, an hour and a half, which is how I feel after podcasting for that long. That's true. But I feel like the chat is so nice. I know. Look at it. My true. mind, Aggie's hair is, like, below the shoulders slightly. Like, not, not like... Gen Z Instagram user long, but uh, you know, bearish. Right. It's big, big and wavy. Yeah, you, you can head. make a good bun with it, but not a lot. It might, and I, I know this is wrong because Abby, has, Abby has auburn hair. Um, but in my head, it's like the texture of the, the protagonist from Brave. Yeah. That's no, how in, I envision. In my mind, it's it's a similar color. I think mean, that's sort of you know in the like darker red to like yeah. definitely red hair, but not like. Irish goddess, you know, yeah. light gold. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, all right, well, we're going to wrap up here, everyone. Um, this is going to be a perfect time for me to show everyone our... Oh, yeah. Well, you can turn... Yeah, you can go back to chatting. And, uh... You can get Ah, lovely. Yeah, well, now we're back to chatting. Hey. So, so we can just we can chat just for a hey. few for a few minutes if you have any l- last questions. But I think this is a perfect time for us to do plugs again. Yes. I know that you probably follow us on Twitter and and stuff already. But you can follow me at uh, L underscore Silvero, E L underscore S A L V E R O. It's my name if I was a Lucia Libre wrestler. I'm at she's so Nikki on all of the places. You can follow House Breakfast, uh, uh, House at House underscore. At house oops, breakfast underscore at house breakfast underscore. I should have I should have like an end like a chat end of thing like with a graphic up. I, I'll well, make that. We can make that, and also it's it's below our video right now in the channel. Oh it's yeah, it's tiles. in the button. It's yeah. in the buttons and everything. But um, it was a thing. Hi Stacy. Hi Stays. and thank you, Jaya. Over the course of the next few months, you'll see me complete my other arm. Wait, that's this perspective. This one is uh, is in progress by the same um, artist, mm-hmm. and then this one is it done. Looks, it looks, it looks have insane. a little like hydrangea. Thank you, honey. Yeah, you have. Hey, good tattoo. Thanks. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna go eat a bunch of Chinese food. Hooray! And do this, but uh, please follow us and tell people about this. I mean, thank we're gonna you. we're gonna start doing this more regularly. Yeah, and we'll tell people about it and at least just tweet it tweet it out. Uh, but we're here. Thank you for following us, Jaya. We appreciate you come back and yeah. give you good jokes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna f- figure this out. We'll, maybe we'll do some Jackbox. Maybe we'll do some other video games. The powerpoints we talked about. Good um, job setting this up, honey. Thank there you. There were a lot of technical roadblocks, and you got past them like a bulldozer. <laughs> thank you. Try the best. Or the Mad Max car. Yeah. But uh, we're we'll never keep playing. We're definitely gonna keep uh, playing Kirby. So we'll be back for this, and then we'll tell you if there's a YouTube or we'll figure that shit out. Yeah, probably this weekend. Yeah, I mean Something. we. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do. Yeah, wonderful. All right, cool. cheers. See y'all later. Bye, guys. Miller Life Percent. Hooray! I didn't press it. <laughs>